Today, we're taking a tour of a house on the top of Mount Chiliad. Yes, on the very top of this massive mountain, we actually got a house. And it is pretty damn cool and also has some somewhat cool features. So I decided to go out and buy a dirt bike as well, just so you know, we can get to the top of the mountain real easy. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want to see more tours like this of some really awesome houses and mansions in GTA 5 and a bunch of other cool mods, let me know by dropping a like on the video. Anyways, I hope you enjoy, let's make our way up this mountain and check out this house. So whenever I actually make my way up to this house, I end up leaving any vehicles that I drive kind of parked on the side of the road over here. We have two security guards to watch to make sure they don't get, you know, stolen. Highly doubt it though, because, you know, we're on the top of a mountain. Not too many people are going to make their way all the way up here to steal a vehicle. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the house and make our way through the front entrance. So right when we enter, you can see we got a nice little walkway leading down to the house. We got our helicopter over there. We got some plants and trees all grown along the side here as well, which is kind of nice. And this helicopter definitely comes in handy because, you know, sometimes you don't want to drive all the way up this mountain. Like, it's a pretty long and somewhat tough drive to make it up here every time. So taking a helicopter and bringing it up here is definitely beneficial. So let's go ahead and make our way inside. So the very first thing you notice obviously is going to be the two hypercars we have right here in the middle of this house. Now, I do love having them here. They look beautiful, and it's a pretty nice trophy to have just, you know, having a hypercar sitting in your house. The issue I have is the fact that I can never take them out. They are always here. I had to get them airlifted to come up here because, you know, I'm not going to drive these things up a freaking mountain. Anyways, making our way past the cars, we got a nice little dining room table here, we got a pool table, and we got some couches, we got a projector screen, along with the projector there as well. It's a nice living room, and of course we also have some couches up here, so you guys can just admire the views of the city, and pretty much the entire state. Now some people aren't huge fans of the layout of this house being so open. I personally like open layouts, and layouts that, you know, are somewhat tight and have lots of rooms and things like that. This one is nice, it's just a giant big rectangle, and then we got all kinds of cool stuff in it. I think it's a pretty nice layout for the house. Over here we have legitimate floating stairs. I don't know how the architect did this. They're not connected to anything. They are actually just floating stairs, which is just kind of awesome. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's pretty damn cool. Over here has to be one of the coolest parts of this house. The fact that we can walk out here, we're standing on glass, and if this glass breaks, we fall to our deaths immediately. But it's amazing because you can look at the entire state from here. That's got to be one of the number one amenities of this house. Just having the ability to be up so high and you're able to see virtually everything around you. It's amazing. Anyways, let's head down this hallway and continue on with the tour. So we make our way inside this door. We actually have a huge bathroom. Now this one is obviously the shared bathroom that you would have on a main floor, but it is a full bathroom. You can see we got the toilet, we got a nice shower right here, and a bathtub. And of course, we also have a plasma screen TV because, you know, why not? Over here, we also have a bedroom. Right across the hall from that bathroom, it is a spare bedroom. This bedroom, once again, has amazing views. Anyways, on with the tour, moving on over to the next room we have right over here. Once again, it's another small bedroom. The one thing I'm not a huge fan of in this room is the TV. It's just kind of sitting in the middle of the entire room. But, but this bedroom is still awesome because, like, look at the views. You get views on the entire right side of the city, which honestly isn't too much, but you get a nice view of a part of Polito Bay. And then of course you walk over here and you could see so much more. Like it's just insane. I actually love the location of this house. It's incredible. Once we exit out of that bedroom, we make our way over here to the kitchen where we have another little small table. No matter where you are in this house, you look out the window and the views are amazing. So now that we've finished up with the main floor, let's head on upstairs. 
So we make our way upstairs to a pretty nice area. It pretty much just opens straight up into a patio over here, which we'll take a look at in just a minute. But if you continue walking down the hall over here and you make your way in here, we got a nice little gym and I accidentally just stepped on Franklin's back. This probably has to be one of the best gyms in the entire state because you could just be working out and some people, you know, they would watch TV or something, but instead you have this. Once again, amazing. And if you exit the gym, you can make your way in here to the master bedroom. I'm currently renting this house out to Franklin and his wife. As you can see, they invited some friends over like Franklin over there and Trevor who was fixing the helicopter to come out and hang out. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful bedroom. And just look at this. Like imagine this was you. You just want to do some yoga. Well, you could stand right here and you got the best views of the entire city. The bedroom itself is honestly pretty damn nice. You got a little workspace over here with one of the smallest laptops I've ever seen. You got your closet right over there. And of course you got some nice plants and just something to look a little decorative right behind your bed, which honestly looks pretty damn cool. And then you make your way back here and this is your bathroom. This is your bathroom. This is amazing. You have a hot tub right here. You make your way over here and you have a nice bathtub. And of course the views outstanding over here you have a nice gigantic walk-in shower along with your little shitter right there this is an amazing bathroom as well so we make our way to the patio over here we got a dartboard we got some fridges with some drinks in them we got a hot tub over here we got some nice trees as well to you know liven it up a little bit we got a jukebox you can see lester's here as well everybody's just vibing it's honestly an amazing house but i have to say one of the coolest parts of this entire house is this right here if you want to go parachuting you literally just go all you need to do is jump imagine having this in your own house like you literally jump off the side of your house and then you're parachuting down the side of a mountain anyways that is pretty much going to wrap up the tour of this magnificent house that i purchased on the top of mount chiliad in san andreas is this thing not amazing? You have to admit, it would be a pretty damn awesome to live up here, would it not? Like I said, I am currently renting this house out, so I just wanted to stop by really quick, make sure everything was going okay, and then I was going to head out and let them do their own thing. But anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you want to see more content like this, let me know by dropping a like on it and subscribing if you are new to the channel as well. With that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.